Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Now, yesterday evening, I did a quick flash video about this subject. This was the, uh, the television channel that gets fewer viewers than my channel. And yet my channel doesn't cost millions of pounds a year to run. And of course, it's much more pertinent. I can tell. I bet I get more reaction than they do. I don't have all these highly paid uh, executives, all this highly paid cast and crew standing around spending millions of pounds producing a show that about 200 people watch. Seriously, 200. It goes to show how licence fee payers money is literally being poured straight down the toilet. They're producing a show that would be more suited for some format like this. It's a YouTube channel and that's basically all this show is. It's a light news YouTube channel with a bit of entertainment thrown in on top. You could do the whole thing in a, in a studio, sure, and get your guests in, fine. But you could do it for a couple of thousand pounds an episode, not millions upon millions of pounds a year. Let's have a look and see where the money is going and why. Here goes. BBC Scotland News Broadcast got just 200 viewers as the station bosses obsess over the SNP. Well, here's the thing. I obsess over the SNP. You all obsess over the SNP. I get thousands of viewers. I get maybe sometimes a hundred times more viewers. And I put out around 10 videos a day. They're out, they're putting out maybe two shows a day, a seven and a nine or a five and a seven, whatever they are. We'll have a look at them. There's only two shows and they're getting so few viewers. Give it up as a lost cause. What is the cost of this? What is the point? The figures have prompted claims that bosses at Pacific Key are wasting licence fee payers' money on parochial coverage of Scotland and the SNP's political ambitions. It is just literally a mouthpiece for the SNP. They're all pro-SNP, pro-nationalist, and they do this. And the BBC seems to think that they deserve a channel entirely to themselves at great expense. Where's the unionist channel? Where's the channel provided by the BBC to give the unionist voice to be critical of the union well here i am and there's craig talks as well there's there's others they're out there you can go and find them on youtube and they don't cost millions people do it because it's important to them because they don't like what's going we i don't have all glitzy showbiz you know I'm an old fart in a converted bedroom, turned a bedroom into a studio. I don't have a huge soundstage. I don't have sparkling lights and big band introductions. you got me telling the truth. And me sitting here telling the truth has a bigger viewing figure than the bullshit broadcasting corporation's tiny, tiny mainstream news. Unbelievable, isn't it? The BBC in Scotland has been accused of a deplorable waste of money as its flagship news programmes lose viewers. The Seven, a 15-minute news programme, only pulled in 200 viewers last Sunday. Now, it's very unusual. I get a, I get a, a, a video up that lasts 15 minutes. Most of them are sort of 10 to 12 minutes. It's the ideal time. Sometimes it's about nine minutes or something. But I don't like going on too long. People switch off if it's too long. Sometimes you just can't help it, you'll need to round off and things like that. But if they can maintain a 15 minute program, they can put that on bloody YouTube. They're not even paying for the broadcasting costs. In fact, they're actually making money. Throw a few adverts in it, make a bit of money. Well, you're not gonna make much money if you're only getting 200 views, let me tell you that. In fact, the other thing is you need a thousand subscribers. Would they even get a thousand subscribers? Unbelievable, isn't it? Anyway, the station's hour-long news show, The Nine, reached just 1,700 people. Their main, main evening news, The Nine, 
1,700 people. I'm probably going to have 1,700 people watching this video. Maybe more. In fact, make it more. Share it. Share it with all your friends. Just to make a point, hit the like button. And subscribe, by the way. Subscribe. If you're one of the many, many, this is it. This is this is the prime example of why you subscribe. If you're one of those many people who are regular viewers have yet to subscribe, subscribe. Push this. Let's make a point. But go on to social media and share just this video. Just share this video and share it with everyone. Just to show, just to show that some old fart on YouTube gets a wider audience than the main news on a BBC channel. And the difference, of course, here is it's not propaganda. It's truth. Anyway, um, it was 0.1% of those watching television at the time watched The Nine. 0.1%. Um, it pulled in 750,000 viewers for its 2019 launch, but only had 8,200 viewers on its most successful day so far this year. Monday, January the 8th was its most successful day in 2024 so far. I've had a video that hit 27,000. That's like three times more than this. Viewers of BBC Scotland, uh, which last year cost the BBC £35 million to run, declined by a quarter between 21 and 23. Figures also suggest that the broadcaster's evening news show, Reporting Scotland, has also been struggling. STV News at 6 was watched by about a third of the viewers on average in 2023, compared with around a quarter for reporting Scotland. They're all, they're all reducing. People are getting fed up of the lies, the bullshit and the spin. And STV is another one of those mouthpieces for the SNP. They try to go, oh, we'll give a bit of uh, coverage the other way. But it's still very 70-30, let's just say. They attempt fairness, but it's quite clearly not really. But it is at least a genuine broadcaster. But it's just not very good, is it? I think that's a couple of bits I've seen. And uh, what is that? Pra just as a separate thing, not connected with this, tangent time. I was watching something, I've forgotten the bloody name. It's got Dune McKee in it. And uh, I was watching it the other day. My wife comes in and she said, um, oh, what's so, so and so in it? I went, yeah, it's him out of Taggart and all that. And you know, for the life of me, I could not, I can't remember the name of it. Next, Something next door? Let me know in this um, in the uh, comments. I can't remember what the uh, comedy Dune McKee and that bloke off Taggart, and I can't think of the life of me what it was called. Anyway, try to explain it to me why. Uh, anyway, uh, former BBC editor. Thank you for the tangent, by the way. Um, former BBC editor and academic professor Tim Luckhurst told the Times the viewing figures for the Seven and the Nine are atrocious. Indeed, BBC Scotland appears to be spending licence fees on output that achieves statistically insignificant reach. Wasn't there a point, and I seem to remember this last year, uh, there was a point where there was a television programme, I think it was, I can't remember which one it was, but it actually had recorded zero views. It was on, and there wasn't a single person watching it. What's the point? You know what? If you put the bloody test card up with the girl playing noughts and crosses with the dummy, and uh, or the doll, wasn't it? And uh, you put that one, put a bit of soft sound music on. I bet that would get more viewers than some of these programmes on Scottish television. Uh, anyway, uh, he says BBC. Sorry, the, he said BBC Scotland appears to be spending licence fees on output that achieves statistically insignificant reach. As we just said. He said, it should stop. Of course it should. He said, the pursuit of non-existent viewers is a deplorable waste of money. He said, BBC Scotland's commitment to news output, for which there is no public demand, suggests that senior staff may be paying too much attention to the SNP's political ambitions and too little to their licence payers' interests. Bada bing, he's nailed it. It's the political, or sorry, it's the broadcasting wing of the SNP. It's panda, panda, panda to the Nats, panda to the extremists, panda to the bigots. And if you're a unionist, the majority, God help you. The BBC's UK leaders should pay close attention to these figures. Scots are interested in the UK and in international affairs. The parochial audience the BBC has targeted is an expensive fiction. And yet, and yet, they will not get rid of it. 
There's a cost of living crisis. The BBC are always moaning that they've got no money. They can afford to pay Gary Lineker millions and they can afford to wank millions, 35 million on shit like this that literally nobody is watching. Thank heavens you watch me. I'm rounding off and I'm coming up. But before I do, definitely hit the subscribe. Please share this video. And let's make this video a high view video just to make the point. Coming up. Here's a little argument that the woke wankers at the BBC may listen to. It costs a lot of money to broadcast programmes. I don't just mean making them. The actual process of putting them out and distributing them through the airwaves costs money. Machines, broadcasting, high tank, high gain antennas, the lot. And that is an awful lot of energy being wasted when there's only 200 people across the whole of Scotland watching them. It's got to be from an economic point of view a waste, but think about the environment. Environmentally, that's an awful lot of energy being wanked away per capita. I hope they're charging them. Just get rid of it. If you put on, honestly, if they put on a 30 year old rerun of Fools and Horses, it would get more views. That's terrible, isn't it? Anyway, I shall sit here and I'm not being smug. I'm a minnow. I am tiny. I am a nothing in YouTube. I'm like that. And I'm still outperforming the BBC. From my heart to your heart and from, <laughs> from my mouth to God's ears, let us keep pushing the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I'm finishing now with a smile on my face. But there's many more stories to come. So, uh, yeah. So, Pete, <laughs> until next time, bye. <laughs>